we got super high grade stuff there. Um, and like I said, Equinox is, you know, they're, they're got their federal permits and everything, you know, pouring their Dory bar, spent a hundred million dollars in CapEx and have 4 million ounces in beside us. Right. And, uh, um, but I think as we, as I've watched Equinox go from caliber mines and so forth, this is the development of excellent equi as this $2.6 billion deal. That Chris Anderson, great Atlantic resources and good afternoon. How are you? Excellent. Good afternoon to you as well. Um, so I'd love to chat about your property um, and your, your, your project. Uh, Recently, uh, been digging around and have, have found out about it. Let's start with that. Uh, where are you? What jurisdiction are you in? And then let's go down to the project. Tell me about the project. Yeah, we're, we're in. We're based in Newfoundland. We're in the Valentine Lake um, Belt, and we're like literally right beside Equinox. Like, like one kilometer is our. Back. And um, we've got a land package there that we acquired in 2015 December. Right, you know, at the lowest point in the market. Um, and, uh, so we've got, we've got over 30 kilometers of high grade, uh, veins running from one end to the other. And, um, and we've been working in there, developing it and building up targets. And uh, we've got, uh, on the upper portion of the Jacqueline main zone, we've got 120,000 ounces of, uh, of gold running 10.4 grams per ton. And very high grade. The, yeah, it's fairly high grade. And we, we, you know, we were, uh, the, the Equinox has got about 4 million ounces in their land pack. It's about the same size as ours, right? And we're in the same belt there, but um, we uh, probably got enough targets in there to drill for the next two or three years. But what we're focused on right now is uh, um, this zone. This particular zone was chosen through a group uh, using with UBC Memorial University, the government digital cluster, and Nova Mera to test a new technology that's never been done in the world before. And it's uh, it's directional drilling with a ball with um, with a bore drill. Now directional drilling has been done in in the oil fields before, yeah. right? Never with the scale and scope of this. So so we've um, on our land package with all these multiple veins that we've got and everywhere we're we're focused on. We got approval from the Newfoundland government, who's also a partner and an investor in there, and we're deploying about three point eight million dollars into the ground, non dilutive capital to us to do a 2,700 ton bulk sample there. And um, the camp is well underway and the drills are on site and there'll be lots of news coming here shortly about that. Um, we've got an excellent team out there and uh, the team that's come over is DDV. They're, they've done most of the bore drilling and put in um, the windmills around the UK. Um, they've built platforms out in the ocean. So it's a, it's a private company well-known, uh, good group of engineers. Uh, they brought over there. I've gone over there and met them and, and they brought their drills over. And uh, so it's a two and a half meter bore drill. And then uh, uh, the head was made by a company out of Italy. So it's a custom made directional head for this drill, for this project, right? And um, so they're there now testing. We got everything in, we brought everything in through the ports. It's all there, we're ready to, to get going. And uh, we're hoping to do a 2,700 ton bulk sample, complete that in the next four months. Um, okay. And, um, and I, I'm, sh I'm short selling you here a little bit because Nova Mera is the ones that have developed this technology and they've developed some really good underground imaging technology, which we've already drilled and we've mapped out all the veins. And then they're the ones that have designed and built this directional head that goes on a, on a bore drill, right? So it. it's a game changer in the mining industry. And three years ago yeah. when we started and we signed up with these guys, you know, everybody was like skeptical, but now the imaging technology is being tested by the majors all over the world. Dustin, the president of Nova Maris flying everywhere and, and uh, in discussions with a lot of major groups, but the bore drill and the directional head, this is uh, this project in Golden Promise was chosen by a consortium of uh, professionals in the mining industry and in the finance finance industry to test it our particular project, the Jacqueline Maine. And um, it's a $10 million budget overall. And that was to design and bring the drills over and get everything going. So, but there's 3.8 million going in the ground. And we hope to, wow. that uh, if this uh, works out well, then we will, under the Small Mines Act in Newfoundland, move forward and we can do 50... Wow tons uh, uh, a year 
let's get the direct using this this technology. And you're looking at you know probably somewhere less than twenty five percent of traditional mining costs to do this, right? Uh, but that's what this test is about: is to find out what the actual costs are. Well, we got a bunch of news we're going to put out about the recoveries, and and we've put in. Great Atlantic has put in, we're setting up a, um, a mobile processing plant right on site. So we'll be processing the gold there. And we, that was part of our bulk sample approval. So we'll, the free gold will be taken away and put into a safety deposit box at, at the bank. And then we got two cons that we're going to create a 60%, 15% con. And those will be used for testing for building a recipe for our pouring dory bars. And if it all works out and the costs all work out, um, then we have an arrangement with Nova Mara to move forward over the next five years, have them as our contractors and DDB as the driller company to continue wow. on with the project. We, um, we need to um, get a mining license. The property has had a mining license in the past, and that's basically sur surveying the area that we want to go and show that it's economic to move forward on this. And um, we got super high grade stuff there. Um, and like I said, Equinox is, you know, they're, they're got their federal permits and everything, are, you know, pouring their Dory bar, spent a hundred million dollars in CapEx and have 4 million ounces and beside us. Right. And, uh, um, but I think as we've, as I've watched Equinox go from caliber mines and so forth, this is the development of excellent equity as this $2.6 billion deal that they ended up doing, the, you know, a lot of their high grade was at depth. And they got an average around two grams, two and a half grams. I haven't checked recently, but um, a lot of our stuff is high grade veins at surface uh, across the 30 kilometers. So we've mapped a lot of that out. We've got, uh, we've done a bunch of drilling in there. We, you know, we've got, we just recently got a program to um, drill uh, what's called the Jacqueline North uh, vein. And we've got a permit there for 33 hole, 33 holes that we want to finance down the road. Uh, because we think that interconnects with the Jacqueline main zone. And we, so we think we've got a big system in there. Multi-million ounce is what we're hoping for, right? Like our neighbors. Um, but the, the drill will tell the tale. And uh, so far, you know, the sampling at surface and everything we've been doing, and plus the current resource that we do have, shows the great potential that this could be the case. And if this technology works for us, it would be a very expensive way. It'd be a game changer for the mining industry around the world to go, out, go in and do mining on high-grade narrow veins, right? It's a non-invasive technology. The water circulates through the drill, so you've got great opportunities to work close to tributaries and rivers and in different areas where you wouldn't get the opportunity to do that. And it's kind of like RC drilling. A material comes up through the center of the drill, and then we're going to be taking it in. It's going to go straight into a, uh, a dump trailer, and then be, we'll be moving it over meters away to our processing facility and we'll be processing the gold there. We've got a crusher, a grinder, and float. We got two um 150 um uh concent hundred uh, uh, uh concentrators, right? And um so um if it all works out, it should it could be really a big game changer, not only for us, but for the mining industry. Right. And that yeah. property that property we've we've um when we acquired it in 2015. Um, it was a relatively new gold discovery in Newfoundland because a lot of the, I don't know if you're familiar with a lot of the patented land in Newfoundland was tied up under the railroads and that uh, got released in the eighties and seventies. And, and so this was a fairly new discovery. And, um, and so we got it off the original Bill Mercer who spent past, who was a notable prospector and we paid the property off now. So we own actually in great Atlantic, we've got a just suite of properties. We own them all hundred percent. You own them all 100%. Yeah. Okay. We started off as a joint venture model company, and then we um, we focused in. We got a few key assets, and I think you'll see that we've been, we're have been we going to want to lighten our load as we go along here. So we got a couple other deals, I think, that are going to come to fruition, and you'll see we'll joint venture off and just be focusing on Golden Promise, developing you know, that that potential, that property out. Got it. Um, so you answered a lot of my I still want to ask them anyways. Uh, now you commented that, the Newfoundland government is your more or less your partner. They put in three point eight million dollars as an investment. Is that correct? Well, there's a there's a few funding groups on the East Coast, MyTech, um, and then there's a a big firm called Digital Cluster that was investing in in Canadian uh, new technologies. And this mm -hmm. and this technology was chosen by Digital Cluster as their first mining project to invest in. And then um, the Newfoundland government put in a half a million. 
And um, they had input from Memorial University, UBC University. And um, so, and then there's one other um, um, uh, contributing firm. So the $10 million is a combination of a few different uh, uh, groups that have put in money and also Nova Mera. Nova Mera has t- raised about 4 million or just shy of 4 million of the 10. And they're deploying that capital, investing it in our property, right? So okay. that's to build the equipment, bring it over, build the directional head, test out the, you know, the imaging technology, and then actually do the, the do the project. And so we've got three 100 meter holes going directly down the vein. They're kind of steering from surface because they've mapped it up direct on technology. And so it follows the vein as it goes down. That's the idea, right? The head can, the head can turn yeah. and follow the vein. And, um, yeah. and then the material comes out. So you're limiting the amount of waste rock as best you can. And, and the, uh, you don't need the whole group of guys to build a portal to go in, right? Yeah. No, I understand. I guess my question is you have $10 million to do all of the drilling and all of this is fully funded, correct? Correct. Yes. Music to my ears. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about Equinox. As you said, a kilometer away uh, from you and they have a, a 4 million ounce uh, uh, property right there. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, when I say one kilometer away on our, on our farthest boundary, we didn't stake right up to them over the years, right? Where they're one, there's a one kilometer space between them and us. And then our properties continue over 30, some odd, about 32 kilometer package along that. They're right there is what I'm trying to say, Equinox. And then Newfound Gold is on the other side, right? So you're in the middle. We're in the middle. We're one of three companies that actually has a resource there. There's an Australian company that has a small, has a resource on the far end. And then there's Equinox and then there's us. And I know that Newfound Gold is working towards a resource as well. And then we, uh, we also have a land package on the tail end of Newfound that we acquired at Tungsten Asset that we, we put together and paid off many years ago. We also made a... Uh, we're the first in Newfoundland. We've recently been acknowledged as finding gem quality emeralds there, and the first to find emeralds in Newfoundland, and the third to find emeralds in Canada. Whole other game in the company. I know there's a lot of investors that are interested in that. It's it's quite exciting to see that, um, and we'll be doing some work on that in September as well. We got a program designed for that, and some groups that are interested in that. But that's our main focus is is uh, Golden Promise. Got it. And um, um, let's talk about share structure here. How many shares do you have outstanding fully diluted? So we have 60 million shares out. Uh, and um, uh, well, I'm personally the largest shareholder. Um, it uh, over the last, um, as we were, as the, you know, we did a lot of the financing of 40, 50 north of that in that range. Uh, Eric Brott was a big supporter in, in that, in that financing. We've not rolled the company back. And, um, and so we've had some significant shareholders, high net worth investors that own positions in the company with family and friends and su- supporters of the company have been supporting the company. We've done a couple of small financings over the, over the last few years, but no marketing. And, um, and, uh, we, um, basically we're just trying to keep everything alive, pay off, pay off the, uh, the assets and keep everything in good standing. Cause we have a suite of 13 assets in the company. And um, we own them all now, a hundred percent. And uh, Dave Martin, who works with me, is a is a geo that uh, I've worked with now since the early two thousand. And him and I worked with another gentleman, a geologist out of the SL Mining Camp. We developed an asset in Central New Brunswick called System uh, System Brook, and uh, that was took over by the um, uh, Hunter Dickinson Group, and it's got its federal permits and moving forward it is a tungsten molly uh, asset, right? So um, after that, uh, Dave and I started putting together assets for Great Atlantic as a, as a joint venture model and picking up key things that we thought were of interest in the East, in Atlantic Canada, mostly because of synergy. Um, logistically, it's easy to move around there. You can, you know, uh, buy a coffee and drive to your property. You know, like our, you know, we're, we're in uh, Grand Falls and that's like 45 minutes from our project. So the guys stay in Grand Falls and drive there. It's not a not a big deal. Sure, it's not a problem. No, it's beautiful. And and New Brunswick is a great, you know, network. this project's in Newfoundland. New Brunswick's a great um, um, a province to work in. It's, well, we've looked at it like a thin glacial till, and it, you lift it up, and there's a jewelry box of, of all kinds of rare elements there. 
indium, dysposium, nodinium, antium, you know, copper, cobalt, all those kind of things. So, right. so um, we have a fair amount of assets there as well. But so yeah. that, that's kind of, that's what you asked me about share structure. So I own 30% of the company myself. And then um, family, friends own a bunch. And then we have, like I said, a few high net worth investors that own just under 10% or 10%. Right. Got it. So um, you said some news would be hitting here from now until the uh, end of the year. So you have a good news flow coming. In, that's my question. Yeah, we, we, we've we been focused on getting everything. We want to, and I've discussed this before, one of the big things about about working in the mining space and the sensitivity of everything going on right now because it's so difficult to to raise capital and it's false starts. And um, we haven't done any marketing, right? And um, so now we're getting ready to bring on teams to, to work with us. Uh, so we've been meeting with different groups like yourself and thank you for ha having me on. Um, and the um, it, and now we're... Uh, now we're really focused on that. We've got a bunch of groundwork that we've done. We're like, you know, we're really set up now. So we'll be able to to share that information in very short order with everybody. I think everybody would be surprised at how far down the road we are. We've reported that we brought the drills in. We've reported that, you know, we've shared a few things that's going on. But but I think the size and the scope of the project itself is, is really going to, uh, I think, is really going to surprise people when they see what we're doing. And... Um, and a lot of, you know, this is Nova Maris technology and it's a, it's a company builder for them. And if it works, it's, it's, there's already a lineup of different companies around that want to get involved in it. This works good on Great Atlantic. They're, you know, they're lining up to deploy this technology wherever they want. Fortunately, we made an agreement with Nova Mara that if this works and at our discretion, if all the costs work the way we want and everything works the way we like it that uh, we'll, we have an agreement with them to continue on for the next five years and have them manage and mine our, our, our um, um, resource under, with using their technology, right? And right. all the guys that are involved, DVD and, and uh, the drillers and everything, they really know what they're doing, you know? So I, I got a lot of confidence. I went over to the Netherlands and met with them and had a lot of time to meet with the Nova Mara guys. And, and so we're, we're quite fortunate to have a, Got a really good, if you go on Nova Mayor's website, you'll see they got a good suite of people, you know, a really good technical team. And um, so uh, there's been a lot, you know, they, they're, put, they're laying millions of dollars down making this bet on our project, right? And um, uh, I think if it works out, it's it's really going to change the optics for um, high-grade mining on planes globally, right? Got it. So... so um Let's go back to news flow coming out. Yeah, investors, they need to pay attention over the next uh, four to eight weeks, would you say? No, yeah. I think we're going to have, like, we're going to get out. We're going to have a lot of news. We've got a lot of news coming in the pipeline here. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So, um, Chris, uh, people want to find out more about you. Give, give me your website and give me uh, your ticker symbols and what exchanges you're traded on. Sure. It's uh, Great Atlantic Resources, and uh, the ticker symbol is GR. And uh, we're currently in the midst of looking at uh, getting set up in Europe as well. So um, I don't have the ticker symbol for that yet, but uh, that's coming. And um, uh, we'll trade on the Turtle Venture Exchange. Okay, excellent. I'll put all of this in the show notes below, both on the YouTube channel, the Apple and Spotify podcast. Chris, I want to thank you so much for your time. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be following your story and uh, your progress. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay.